Hi, my name is Julia Silgi and I'm a data scientist and software engineer at Posit PBC. And today in this screencast, we're going to use this week's Tidy Tuesday data set on haunted places here in the United States. It's getting to be spooky season, so it's very, um, very seasonal, very appropriate. And um, this data set is interesting to me because it has a couple of uh, free text fields. I love doing text analysis. We're going to use a couple of, I see if we can use some of the, um, some of the tools that I think are great for dealing with text to explore questions such as um, what kind of states have what kind of different haunted places. Let's get started. Okay. Let us get started on this very spooky data. So this is um, haunted locations in the um, in the United States, and um, you can see we've got information about um, a city, state. Um, some information that you could use for mapping if you are interested in that. And then there's these two text columns. The description columns um, is longer. And here you can see that it kind of varies how long it is. And then the location one is shorter. And you can see that it, um, like if there are multiple kinds of haunted places in one place, um, there are different, um, different descriptions. So for example, you know, at this university, both the library and this fraternity house are both haunted, you know? So we've got these different informations here. So what um, I would like to do in this screencast is uh, understand understand how different there are different kinds of haunted places in these different states. So first let's see how what the distribution is um, uh, in in different states. So here this this looks you know this is close to the population. Um, the distribution, you know, California, Texas, these are some of the like biggest uh, populated states. So of course, where you have more people, you have more hauntings, but you know, it's probably, you know, there's probably some base level of haunting that happens. And then, um, you know, we could, we could look at that, but here we see but what notice, however, that there's a big distribution in counts. So California has over a thousand by the time we get to Massachusetts, we're down to like a third of that. And at the end of the distribution, there are very few. Um, there are very few. So we've counted haunted places different numbers of times. There are different numbers of haunted places. So we, um, if we want to be able to um, understand differences, we need to take an approach that can take um, – take, uh, into that account, take that into account. Now let's look at the, um, let's look at the, the, that location data. Whoops. Um, okay, so we've got churches, pubs, mansions, museums, Air Force Base, cemetery, school, colleges, train tracks, cemetery, and so on and so forth. A Joanne's restaurant, <laughs> um, middle school, and so forth. So this is, um, uh, these are the locations. It's free text. Let's use tidy text to met, to understand what some of the co most common ones over are overall here. So if we say haunted places, um, no tokens. Let's uh, unnest, unnest into Word from location, and let us do this. Okay. Okay. Here are the top words used in the locations. So, so cemetery very high. That makes sense. I feel like a cemetery is a place that could definitely be haunted, and maybe it's. You know, like maybe that's an appropriate place for hauntings, that a cemetery is haunted is, is appropriate. But I don't know, school, 
I don't, I don't think school should be haunted. Where, why are we sending our children to haunted schools? I mean, we, you know, we have some words here that are stop words. Things like high is probably high school. Universities and colleges um, are, you know, maybe kind of like a school. So we, we have uh, different kinds of places here that are all, um, that are all haunted. So I think what I want to do is I want to. Um, I want to use the weighted log odds to, to, to look for differences in these counts of different kinds of places. So let's say, um, let's take that, that location, which remember looks like this. First, let's change it all to lowercase. Location string to lower location. So now the location is all lower level, lower case, excuse me. And now let's let's um let's use a case when to find let's find schools. Let's find cemeteries and um then everything else. So, you know, so this one would be a school. This one would be a cemetery. This one would be a school. And then this one let's call other. So the train tracks are other. The library is other. School, cemetery, other, like this. So I'm going to say um, when, when we detect um, in location, when we detect cemetery, let's call it cemetery when we detect school, let's call it school. And for the default, let's, let's call that other, like this. So let's see. So we'll, we're gonna, the Toys R Us <laughs> would be another. Um, uh, the, and then the music warehouse is a little other, but this high school would go into school. I don't think, let's go look at that list again. I don't think I'm going to add university and college into school. I think I'm just going to say school. Um, I'm going to, the university is that I'm going to, they're going to put them into other. I don't know. You could do it the other way. If you were interested in putting them together, we could, um, let's look at a couple more. Cemetery. Um, so forth. Yeah, let's, um, let's keep it like that. I like this. So now instead of location, we've, we've divided it up into cemetery, other, and school. And now let's count that. So I'm going to count state. I'm actually going to do state abbreviation because I think that will plot better. And location. And let's call this haunted counts like so. So now we've counted for every state how many cemeteries are haunted, how many other places, and how many schools. So other you can see is a pretty big category for most of these because lots of things are not cemeteries or schools and the different states have different counts. So like remember California had a ton of places. Alaska doesn't have all that many by comparison. So um, we're going to use a weighted log odds that like I put here and then with what this weighted log odds is going to let us do is it is going to let us um, look for uh, compute so a log odds is a measure of a probability, and we're going to um, um, a way of expressing a probability, and we are going to use tidy low, which is um, a package for weighted log odds using tidy data principles, and this will let us compute these log odds weighted. And it, the main function is bind log odds, and so what it does is it. Um, uh, computes and then binds on to our counts, a posterior log odds. There's some details here about how this is computed. It comes from this paper, Monroe 
at all. Um, here are some papers you can go to read more about this. But the implementation is, you know, especially using it is very, um, very uh, straightforward. So the default here, we're going to, um, we're going to um, just use the defaults here. So uh, we are going to um, f use the default here, which is to use um, uh, empirical Bayes is how the the um, uh, the those weighted log odds are going to um, work. And if not, if you don't want to use uh, empirical Bayes, you can use an uninformative prior here by setting this to true. Okay, let's, so we talk, so we start with our dates, or no, our counts, excuse me, and then we will use bind log odds, and so we are piping in the table, and then we need the set, the feature, and n. So the set is like, what are the set of things that we are looking for differences of the features across? So the set here is the um, location, and then we are looking for differences across the states here and and like that. So this computes this remember this is an empirical Bayes weighted log odds and so this when it's higher that means it is more than the other states. So we see cemetery a little bit more than the other states comparatively. Um, other a little bit less, school a little bit more. So if we look at Alabama, you know, we see a slightly different thing here. So if we wanted to see like what were the highest, we can arrange this, um, but let's let's make a plot. So let's group across our three kinds of locations and then let us, um, let, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Let us, after we group by location, let's take the top, like the max log odds weighted, and let's take the top, you know, you know, we can take the top 10. That's probably gonna be too many for a plot. Let's take a plot, the top five here. So this is for our three kinds of locations, what states had the highest log odds. Um, interesting. Okay, let's plop that onto a plot so we can see it a little better. Uh, let's see, so we'll put the log odds on the x-axis, the state on the y-axis, and let's say fill equals location. And then we're going to make that geom call like that. Great. And so then let's say facet wrap vars location and scales equals free. And we don't, we won't need that anymore. Show legend equals false like that. Nice. And let us reorder that we're going to reorder state grieve so we're going to I'm going to use reorder state state I'm going to reorder it by the log odds like that nice and then let's use a different color scale fill brewer let's call it um Let's, I don't know, let's use dark two is a nice one. Nice. And then let us just change up those labels. So I don't think we need the labels on the Y axis. Um, and if we, you know, we could be more specific about what's on the X axis. We could say, for example, like weighted log odds, empirical base or something like that. To be more specific. There, there, I think this looks pretty good. Okay. So what is this telling us? So for the um, for the haunted locations, um, the the states like Illinois, Iowa, Michigan, Arkansas, Connecticut, those are places that have that like the cemeteries, the haunted places are more likely to be cemeteries in these states compared to the other states. For California, South Dakota. North Dakota, Texas, Oklahoma, those places, the the haunted places are more likely to be schools. Um, so I think Illinois, Iowa, Michigan, those are places that um, that 
the set, the hauntings are happening in the appropriate places, right? Things are as they should be. These, these North Dakota, South Dakota, California, Texas, what's going on? Why are your schools so haunted? No, I mean, it's not why are your schools so haunted. It's why are so many of your haunted places schools, I think, is what it is there. And other is all, they, they are more likely to have these other kind of things compared to the cemeteries and the schools, which, remember, were some of the most common haunted places that we have. Um, that's interesting. Let's maybe see what's there. I think, if you remember right, those were some of our smallest uh, those counts were the lowest. And so we are maybe, you know, running into the limits of, um, let's copy this here. Um, we are maybe running into the limits of what, what, um, uh, the waiting can do, but maybe not. Let's see. So for example, um, in DC, yeah, look, it's not cemeteries or schools. It's the Capitol building. It's the White House. The White House apparently super haunted. So we don't really see a lot of cemeteries or schools there. So it looks like it's working working as expected. So those are places that don't have a lot, like these these guys here are places that don't have a lot of um, haunted places. But it is true that they are more likely to not be schools or cemeteries, but rather in this other category. All right, we did it. Um, we used uh, the weighted log odds, log odds weighted by um, empirical, with using empirical bays to be able to look for differences in what kinds of spooky haunted places there are um, uh, in different states. So some states, their haunted places were more likely to be cemeteries I think this is good. Thumbs up. Appropriate place for haunting. Some some states, their haunted places are were more likely to be something else. Uh, we looked at schools because that was actually the most common word used to describe the location of the haunted places. I don't approve. Schools should not be haunted. And then, of course, there were some places that were more likely to have this other category. I think DC is an interesting example of that. There we see that lots of haunted places, lots of hauntings in the, um, the White House and the Capitol building. Uh, I, lo I love this example for, um, to, as a way to uh, help us see how when we have free text, we can look at some of these differences and get um, pretty uh, clear information about um, uh, differences that we see across groups, even when we are just starting with very unstructured data. So I hope this was helpful. Hope your school is not haunted. Um, you are only haunted in appropriate places, and I will see you next time.